Norm Rosen from Canada's RV Dealer News Magazine on location in Cambridge, Ontario with Mike Brewer, CEO of the Westphalia Division of Group Rapido. Group Rapido has just been given the approval from the Ontario Supreme Court to acquire substantially all the assets of the Road Trek RV brand, formerly owned by the Irwinheimer Group North America, from Alvarez and Marcel Canada Incorporated, the receiver handling the liquidation of the Irwinheimer North American operations. The process has been very detailed and very carefully structured to enable Group Rapido to bring the Road Trek brand back to the North American market. From the initial letter of intent accepted on April 12, 2019, to the asset purchase agreement on May 31, 2019, and the transition services agreement to assist Group Rapido with resuming road trek operations as soon as possible. Everything has been worked out to the finest detail with the goal of celebrating a road trek renaissance during the summer of 2019, with more than 100 employees soon to be uh, bringing the manufacturing facility at 20 Tyler Road, Cambridge, Ontario, back to life. Mike, as one of the executives in charge of the due diligence for this project, how will the rebirth of the Road Trek brand affect the existing or former North American Road Trek dealers? Will the former dealers be part of the new team of Road Trek dealers? who will sell and service the vehicles. Yes, they certainly will be part of the new road track setup. Uh, we count very much on the uh, former dealers from mm -hmm. road track because uh, definitely they have brought up the brand and they have made mm -hmm. the brand to what it is today. So uh, it definitely is important to us to have them on board and uh, we certainly will appreciate if the dealers are going to stick with us. We already talked to many to most of them and uh, they signalize that they are going to continue with us which makes us quite happy. Excellent. What arrangements, what arrangements have you made with the suppliers of the distinctive road track parts and components to provide continuity and a future supply of road replacement parts for the existing fleet of road track vehicles? Um, that was one of the early, or let me say, one of the first tasks that uh, uh, we have performed to get in touch with the major supplier and with the main supplier mm -hmm. of Roadtrack in order to uh, to get a feeling on whether they are going to want to continue with us or not. And um, we have been pleasantly surprised because everybody was very open to speak with us and uh, to continue with the new Roadtrack setup as well. And uh, that has been an important, let me say, almost an important asset to the entire acquisition uh, that the major supplier are going to be going to stay on board and going to work with us in the future too. Excellent. How will the road? Uh, how will the Group Rapido acquisition of Road Track affect current owners of Road Track vehicles? Will Group Rapido provide any form of warranty coverage for vehicles purchased during the? recent years? Yes, um, we will provide warranty coverage. Of course, we cannot provide what has been given originally, but we will provide a, a two-year warranty uh, that will be capped at $1,500, but we will provide a warranty and uh, we will also look at the warranty work the dealers already provided in order to support them there. That's very decent of you actually for, for an iconic brand. Uh, that's a very nice gesture. Uh, many of the features and design elements of the Road Trek Class B motorhome line were created and patented by Jacob Hanemeyer. Will your new Road Trek models have access to these patented design characteristics? Yeah, that is a good question, actually. Um, we have purchased the entire intellectual property that refers and belongs to the road track brand and to the actual models. So I assume that we have everything we need to resume mm -hmm. production. 
in case there should be issues uh, where we would say, okay, there is patents that we will need maybe for new developments or for existing productions that were not part of this intellectual property that we purchased, we'll certainly want to talk to uh, Jeff Hannemeyer in order to see that we arrange each other. Mm -hmm. Have you determined which of the traditional road track models will constitute the 2020 line? We will uh, definitely continue most of the models that had been in the uh, road track uh, portfolio. Um, we are thinking about discontinuing the popular series, um, but anything else uh, will be continued. Mm -hmm. And especially there will be, uh, we will uh, put force into it to uh, uh, complete the engineering of the new a vehicle based on the uh, Ford Transit mm -hmm. and put that into the production and into the portfolio as well. Mm -hmm. When do you expect to have the first road track models rolling off the production line in Cambridge? Also a good question. Optimistically, um, we'll have that in um, end of October mm -hmm. rolling off and being ready to deliver. If uh, it takes a little longer, what sometimes the experience shows, um, it'll be November, but uh, definitely <coughs> we'll be able to bring out road tracks um, towards the end of the year. Excellent. Now, during the months leading up to the closing of this acquisition, many of the road track owners look to Jeff Hannemeyer, the former owner of the company and the son of Jacob Hannemeyer, who mm -hmm. essentially invented many of the components in the vehicle. They were looking to Jeff for some hope of saving this iconic Canadian brand. And Jeff had mentioned that he would be available on a consulting basis to assist any company purchasing the brand. Have you had contact with him? Yes, we had. Actually, on the very first trip uh, we made over here, we met first thing, just after arriving at the airport, we met with Jeff and we had very good conversation and uh, we met with him again and uh, he gave us good advice and we appreciate that. Oh, he's brilliant. Probably the finest mind in the North American RV industry, if not the world RV industry. Absolutely brilliant personality. How will the acquisition affect the inventory of completed or partially completed road trek vehicles that were on the factory lots when the Erwinheimer Group North America ceased operations? The uh, incomplete vehicles uh, we will complete, definitely. The already completed vehicles, there's not too many, but there is some. Uh, some of these will be needed for the upcoming shows and for, mm -hmm. uh, for the dealer presentations. And uh, whatever becomes available, we will uh, speak with the dealers and certainly offer it to our dealerships. Mm -hmm. Let's shift gears for a few minutes to focus on what many of our readers, especially our generation of readers, consider the quintessential camper van, your world famous Westphalia product. Will you be bringing the Westphalia back to North America? Yeah, that was something uh, uh, that instantly when we started to think about this acquisition crossed our mind as well, of course. And, um, Yes, we will at one point, but certainly not right away because for us it is important to resume the uh, road track production with the actual portfolio. And once this production is running safe and once we have it at the point where we can add additional models and additional complexity um, that may be in two or three years time frame, um, we'll want to bring Westphalia back to the, uh, to the North American market. Excellent. Does that mean that I'll be young again? Absolutely. I'll have, I'll have hair again? Both of us. I, we might be hippies again? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Absolutely. Oh, I love that idea. <laughs> Very few of the North American RV enthusiasts are familiar with the Group Rapido European operations. Can you give us a brief description of this very successful French corporation? Yes, of course. Rapido is the fourth largest group in Europe um, and uh, there is 12 brands in, under the roof of the group Rapido and uh, Rapido is a family 
operated uh, company where the father and the son are driving the company. So it's, uh, uh, it's not investor driven and not seeking an exit uh, uh, from acquisitions. Um, Rapido is always acquiring companies in order to keep them in the group uh, as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Will you be bringing any of the group Rapido RV models to America? This is currently in, in question because uh, um, we think that um, the Westphalia product, which is a group Rapido product, uh, will suit the market and will suit in correlation with the road track brand much better. Mm -hmm. Are there any messages that you would like to convey to the generations of road track owners who will undoubtedly be thrilled to see the return of their brand or messages that you would like to convey to the, the traditional road track dealers across North America? I think the general message is that we feel lucky that we uh, could acquire road track and uh, that we are very proud. And uh, we see that it is an iconic brand and oh, yes. uh, with, uh, that is very strong. It's a quality product. It suits our philosophy very well and we will take our very best in efforts into that project in order to make it successful, not only for us, but also for the dealers and for the customers. And uh, everybody shall be proud of uh, Road Track again. Oh, everybody's always been proud of Road Track, especially the Canadians. That is the number one Canadian RV brand, controlled 28% of the total Class B market in North America. And let's hope that as the renaissance of Road Track progresses, let's hope that the majority of that 28% of the market share is retained. So Mike, thank you very much for taking the time to discuss the renaissance of the Road Track RV brand. And ladies and gentlemen, dealers, RV consumers, please visit our website. Consumers, please visit the website at RV Life Mag. Dot com for links to the new Road Trek and Westphalia websites. And dealers, please visit the website at www.rvldealernews.com for more breaking news on the rebirth of the Road Trek brand and where you'll be able to find the contact information for the territory sales reps the service people, the warranty claims people that you will need to deal with as this uh, renaissance of road track develops. And everyone, enjoy your day. And it's going to be a wonderful Class B season coming up in 2020. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.